really not morning. It's like 9.30. We had a baseball tournament scheduled this weekend. It's Easter weekend. And they didn't have enough teams, so they canceled the tournament. So we were home today. We got up a little later than normal, but Shannon and I sat in bed and watched some YouTube, watched Off the Ranch, a few of his videos, and just we're being lazy. So coming down now to let the animals out. Morning girls. I need to get them some feed. So guys, on one of our recent videos, we added this uh, extra length to our pig's pen. Um, as you can see, it goes all the way down there this is the, the new section and then where his little shelter is the old section and he he loves this new area it's more than doubled how much room uh that he had and he's getting bigger now which is good um and he spends all his time in this new section and did you, <laughs> you can tell he's feeling happy the uh medicine that we gave him as another video as well uh took a little while for it to work but he's He's acting a hundred percent now. So this this new wire we put up is a welded wire. It's not the woven wire. And it's a little cheaper. And I may have to go through here and maybe put a strand of bar, not barbed wire, but just slick wire or something on the bottom. Or maybe just put some cinder blocks down there to keep him from getting underneath it. Guys, as y'all can tell by the uh, title of this video, we're gonna show y'all a few prepping tricks that you guys have taught us. Um, <clears throat> we have a our first real prepping sustainable living type video we put out a few weeks ago, and it's really taken off. We've gotten tons of views, and it continues to grow, and we've got thousands of views and hundreds of comments from you guys with great suggestions, everybody being very positive. So today we're gonna to put a few more of those um, suggestions to use um, in our prepping materials that we've already started prepping. 
and we wanted to show you all that. Um, so I'll leave an I card up here right now um, for that that video. Some of y'all may be asking, is it so? Is our channel becoming a prepping channel, or is that what we're going to be mainly doing? And the answer is no. Um, our channel, um, from the beginning, we've tried to just document what we're doing in our lives and on our homestead. Um, and prepping is going to become more of a part of that, so you're going to see more of that in the videos. But we're still going to be doing the same old things that we do: um, hunting, fishing, outdoors. Uh, chores here on the homestead taking care of our animals um, stuff like that so but we're gonna be incorporating uh, more prepping type videos into that because that's what we're doing and a lot of you have um, voiced that you enjoy it and that you enjoy that we're starting at the beginning and a lot of y'all are starting at the beginning and we can go through this journey together so and we would love to do that with y'all so hang around at the end of the video and we'll show you these couple tricks that y'all taught us uh, right now I'm gonna go inside and grab a quick breakfast and then we're gonna come out here and get some uh, some chores done and bring y'all with us. Do anything else while we're doing? 
um, we will be releasing soon our Shredder and Cooper Fire 2. I know y'all been asking, I want to let y'all know so y'all know y'all don't think that we're posting it in two more months. So we're we're gonna be doing it tomorrow on Easter, and it'll be posted soon. So watch out for that. So everybody's been asking about this. I mean, it's just our comments have been just overrun with this question and I'm here to answer it. So everybody's wanting to know when I was going to wear my hat again. No, they were not. Yeah. And so no. I'm wearing it now. I've, I've put no. it away. I put the hat away for the winter. You don't see me without a hat very often, but I put it away for the winter because it's a, uh, it's so special. I don't want to bring it out all the time. So oh, you think they can see my eyes rolling through the glasses? It, it was all the rage last summer when we were doing garden videos. So. No, it was not, babe. I think three people commented and said they liked your hat. They loved it. Um, at least we downsized. You're in, you're in my shade. At least we downsized. No, this is the same one I had last summer. Well, prior to summer's before. Yeah, I had one that was a sombrero. It was ginormous. <laughs> Do I have to have a line? No, it's it's kind of tight. I got a big head. When you did that, um, when you did the We Messed Up video about the garden, your, your hat was like <laughs> this on the thumbnail. So guys, we got the garden planted. Um, we got corn in the ground, strawberries, watermelon. watermelon. What else? Cucumbers, corn. You know what you already said. Yep. Uh, um, pickles, whatever those things are called. Cucumbers, yeah. <laughs> and what is it called? The thing that's like watermelon. Cantaloupe. Uh, cantaloupe. What else? That's it right now. A lot of you are probably wondering why we don't plant uh, like our tomato plants and yeah. stuff from seeds. Um, we just have never had good luck with that. So in the next couple weeks, once we're out of the frost yeah. scare, which in Texas, I mean, we had freezing, close to freezing temps just two days ago. Yeah. We're the day before Easter. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's Easter, like I said in a couple of videos back, you know, that's usually the time to plant, but we'll probably end up planting what next week sometime. Yeah. We just, we get established plants. Yeah. Uh, Bonnie, Bonnie plants, plants yeah. from either Home Depot or yeah. Uh, Walmart. I did. I, I reached out to Bonnie through email and asked if they wanted to sponsor a video. Have not heard back from them. So if you know anybody with Bonnie, tell them to holler sponsor at us. our 5,000 subs yeah. channel. So, yeah. oh, by the way, we hit 5,000 subs today. We yeah, we hit 5,000 subscribers this morning, actually. So we're gonna be. I don't know. We may have already done the giveaway by the time this video yeah. comes out, but be looking for that one. Uh, and maybe too late. So if you are, I'm sorry. Um, so we'll get uh, a little bit tomato and bell peppers and jalapeno established plants yep start those this and week. we'll start those this week you and probably always see the it. only yeah. but outside of freezes we have in texas crazy weather yeah and That's we have I, nope, yeah. I keep losing you on the camera my, my arm here we have lost an entire garden one spring yeah i told them about that on that video yeah. but we did plant before like right before uh Easter and that's when we got wiped out with the hail. Yeah. So. And we lost we we I think we were able to salvage a couple plants, squash yeah. and zucchini, but they can grow in any type of condition, but yeah. we lost everything else. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show y'all the garden real quick and then as promised when I started this video, uh You're gonna burn the hat? No. No. Yeah. Alan. We love the hat. Everybody loves the hat. You're, you said comment Alan. below if you love the hat it, or if you hat. want me to burn the hat. I'm not going to burn it even if you comment that, <laughs> but uh, you can tell me that. Leave um, a like if you want him to burn his hand and leave your like, leave a like for leaving a like. So, and then like I promised at the end of this video, we're going to show y'all a couple um, prepping tricks or hacks that you guys, you guys showed them to us. We got the stuff and we're going to do it. So we'll show you all that before the video is over, but let's show you all the garden real quick. So guys, this is probably the first, this is one of the, maybe the first time we've ever done perpendicular rows. These two rows right here are corn. We've already got our onions on the back row. And then it's going to be watermelon and cantaloupe on the next row, cucumbers on the next row. And then these three rows down here that are closer together are going to have our tomatoes, uh, peppers, and what else? Bell peppers. Bell peppers, stuff like that. So. We had to do the we had to do the corn over there. It's an odd space, yeah. but they require a lot a lot of sun, so um, that's really the only part of the entire garden. Um, if you can see our neighbor's trees right there, when they're full bloom during the summer, they block a lot of the sun. So that's the only part of the garden 
that gets the most shade. And like I said a minute ago, when I was looking at the seeds, we have not had good luck with corn. Yeah. We just haven't. So I don't know if that's going to do the trick, but we'll, we'll see. We'll find out. We're going to try again. We're going to run to Walmart and get some um, Miracle Grow and then water them yeah. real good. Oh gosh. People, some people don't like Miracle Grow. I mean, it's a little bit more of a chemical base, not necessarily a um, natural fertilizer, but we've had great luck with it. Yeah. We've had really good luck with it. And it's just, usually we use it to get the plant started. And then once the plants get started, then we just water with regular water and throw yeah. fertilizer in the ground. Silica gel desiccant. I totally said that right. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. So guys, are you sporting the 5M hat. Yeah. I don't ever wear my 5M hat. Yeah. In our giveaway, we're giving away one of those. Like I said, this video, I'm, I don't know if it's gonna come out before we do the giveaway or not. It'll be real close, but. Well, do you know why I didn't wear my hat? Yeah. Because I forgot I had it. <laughs> Does that surprise you? No, not at all. <laughs> um, we also we've got about five or six channels we're going to reach out to about doing some swaps with merchandise. Um, so hopefully you'll be seeing us wearing some other uh, channels merch and you'll see them wearing ours soon so more info on that to come another thing before we get into the uh, couple tips and tricks that we are going to share with y'all that were shared with us uh, Shannon had a great idea um, so about been we're going to get into prepping more and more it's not going to be what our channel is completely about but we're going to also talk about it throughout the channel and she had a great idea so tell them about what we're calling it well like doing a series so. oh yeah so it seems to be um, popular, yeah. our videos, and it's probably a combination of it just being a hot top and hot topic in today's world combined with, you know, the platform of YouTube in general. So, um, and we keep, there's more and more people that are just suggesting things that yeah. I think we would never get to in one video. So that, uh, and, and there's a lot of people that have commented, um, that have said that our they like that we're starting at the beginning, yeah. and because a lot of people, I guess, they go to their channel and they're very deep into prepping, and they want they like it that we we're starting at the beginning and kind of showing we don't know anything about it, you know, um, and we're just being honest about that, and then we're just kind of like sharing our our journey with it. So, what's so I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna start titling this um, preppers prepping for beginners series. Um, yeah. Beginning prepper series. Something I'm not like sure. That, Something yeah. with a series to let everyone know that there's going to be multiple videos. Yes. I think at some point we also talked about maybe doing um, bullet points uh, because now as the as the more and more videos go out that we do, I I don't want guys anyone to be lost on what suggestions yeah. have been made. Our first uh, video has over 325, almost 350 comments. Yes, um, and, and 5,000 views. Yes, and, and so if you, that's a little tedious and daunting to have to go back through all those. So we talked about doing, pulling out bullet points of some of the most popular suggestions and um, putting yeah. those down to go over with you guys. So And also in, in the near future, I'm going to make a playlist on our YouTube channel of just the prepping videos yeah. so y'all can go back and start at the beginning on those if you wanted to. Um, so Shannon got the idea, we were laying in bed this morning before we got, I was drinking my coffee, we were just there on, sometimes on weekend mornings we don't have much to do, we'll lay there and watch a little bit of YouTube. And, and by much to do you mean baseball? Yeah, and we, yeah, like I told him this morning that the can the tournament got canceled, yeah. but we were watching, we, we enjoy watching Off the Ranch, the boys enjoy watching it, uh, we've watched it for a couple of years now. Um, but they have they had a series that they're kind of ending that they've been doing on there um, about the house they're building. So that's what that's where you. Well, about. yeah, and it wasn't necessarily copying because what they're it was him building a house series. Yeah. Well, we're doing prepping. It's not the same, but the word series, yeah. I felt like was yeah. a good indication that we're going to keep going with it. Sure, yeah, and he's not the first person who's came up with the word series. There's tons of series oh, up there. Just so we're not, it's not like we're like stealing his idea or anything. So, um, so yeah, so, uh, if that's something y'all would like, comment below, let us know, uh, give us ideas. Um, we, we've enjoyed all the positive mm -hmm. feedback and interacting with everybody and we're putting the information to use and we want y'all to know that. So that's why we're about to show y'all what we're going to show y'all. Um, 
But a couple things first. So a lot of people have said, you know, the, the food and stuff needs to be in a cold or a cool, dark area. We've never really monitored how the temperature in our storm shed or storm shelter. So as it gets closer to summer, we're going to monitor that. And if we have to make some adjustments and move that stuff inside the house um, or inside the shop, we're in my shop right now or inside somewhere else, uh, we will do that as we need to. Um, so it, it, right, for right now, that's just, it's cool outside. That's a place to put it. It may, it may be cool enough in there where we can store it in there. I mean, I know Keeping It Dutch has his in there. He went down in his storm shelter on one of his videos and took it out. So, um, and they're in Oklahoma. Yeah, they're, they're get as warm as we do. Probably, or at least pretty dang yeah. close. So, um, so that's one thing. Another thing we're about to do is we're gonna go down in there and uh, put our water. We're gonna get some uh, plywood or something um, and yes. put the water on that. People have said that there's issues with having it dripping mm -hmm. on concrete for an extended amount of time. So, or in contaminating the water. Yes, that's the issue. Also, yeah. adding um, the concrete leaches. Uh, or contaminants, contaminants yeah. into the water yeah. too. So. so we're gonna do that. Um, Flour and sugar. We've had mixed reviews of taking them out of the packages. If you remember, we put them in the packages whole into yeah. them. Um, some people say take it out. Some people say leave it in. Um, we haven't decided to do anything yet until we yes. know we get a little bit further into that. Yes, and and we may end up, you know, we could put all the sugar and like fill one five gallon bucket with it. Yeah. We also may do the mylar bags. Yes. Um, like even the Dutch did, which apparently those, um, I, I don't know what the life expectancy is of it in just directly in the bucket versus in the mylar. But from what keeping the Dutch was saying, the mylar, you can get like twenty years out of it before it goes bad. So we did have a suggestion on the mylar bags to get the smaller ones because the bigger ones are kind of you could waste the space in the yeah. large ones, so do the smaller ones. Yeah. And I think I remember someone saying you can reuse them as well. Okay. Well, what will we reuse them for? Like if we're if you needed to open them and add right. more stuff, or if you used oh, okay. everything out of it, you can put it back in. Yeah, and Dutch said all he did was like fill them up. Um, he used a two by four across the opening to hold it closed, and then use a shop vac to suck the air out and then use an iron to seal them shut so and that's uh, all off a of video we don't talk to Dutch we don't Dutch, yes. Dutch probably yes. doesn't yeah that's yeah. all from his video yeah. so but that's so we're still for right now we're gonna do these things we're about to show you just um, until we decide exactly what we're gonna do so but what we're gonna do is um, several several people commented and said bay leaves mm -hmm. um, need to go in with the food um, to deter creepy crawlies and um, insects and things like that. So we, we spared y'all going down in the storm shelter with us again. Um, so we just, but we're gonna do this here in just a minute when we end this video. But we're gonna put this in the buckets for now, a few probably in the bottom of each one, a few on the top, um, all the buckets to deter creepy crawlies. And then... Silica gel desiccants. Sounds Spanish. Or moisture pack packets. Yes, and those are food grade. Uh, got them off of Amazon. Are like, they? You sure? I'm 100 well, unless Amazon lied to me. They well, lied to they me do before. that sometimes. Yes. I can't read it. Food safe right there. Yeah. Boom. And we yeah. know we will not put it in sugar. Yes. The sugar. Everybody we said know, not to put it in sugar because it would. But honestly, we would have thrown them in there yeah. with the sugar. So. They turn it into a rock. So. Yeah, but we're, we're going to put some of those in there for now just to get the moisture out of there. And a lot of people said um, to freeze yes. like the wheat and any like like flour, flour all that sugar. stuff because it has weevils in it and those weevils can i guess even in where there's not much air they can still produce mm -hmm. and turn like yeah. you'll open it up and it'll be all weevils eventually so we have a big deep freeze in this shop it's right behind here um right behind the camera um it's currently is full. that food grade though that sh well it's got freezer it's got a bunch of dead animals in right now so but we got to get those dead animals out of there um it's our taxidermy freezer um we'll probably um we have something there we need to get out um, and work on and get back to customers once we do that we'll probably um, clean up the freezer real good and then we can probably put yeah we can probably literally put two or three maybe four or five gallon buckets down inside there so we might be able to fit all that stuff down inside there all at one time and just, just knock it out yeah versus our, our, our stand-up freezer out here that's full of um, all of our other meat we would have to put like a bag of sugar in there at a time or a bag of flour or a bag of whatever because there's just not enough room so we're probably gonna wait and do that so but that's another great uh piece of advice that people have given us we got tons and tons of advice so we're very thankful for that um we just wanted to let y'all know we're putting your stuff to use 
Yeah. Um, and we're thankful for it. And keep coming with them. Yes, keep, keep truly it. keep coming with yes. them. Um, can't you know? We are new, and um, we're, we want y'all to learn with us, and we want to um, y'all to share with us, and 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 I think what you know what we'll keep doing is is as you guys share. I mean, there's been a lot of people that have said that they can't go through all the comments and, and see yeah. what everybody's saying because there's so much. So what we're going to try to do in a lot of our videos is you give us comments. You know, we've seen the Baileys, I bet you 30 people have mm -hmm. commented that. The Moisture Packs, 30 or 40 people have commented that. So we're just going to take, you know, when we see a lot of something that's commented on over and over and over again, we're going to try to share that back to the viewers so that way that y'all y'all will see it and not have to go through the bazillion comments. So Yeah. I think somebody else commented that they appreciated that we are receiving feedback and that's been yeah. the main thing because i think if you watched our first video i don't think we if we didn't we should have said it more but we do not know what we're yeah. doing no yeah. not none whatsoever nope. obviously because by the number of comments that we got of things that we could do better it just goes to show that we really yeah. don't know what we're doing Yep. But so, we're always up for look, constructive criticism. A lot of people have, uh, have recommended uh, Alaskan, Alaska prepper, Alaskan prepper. Grandma, I thought Alaskan. Um, um. But, but there's been there's been that one, and there's a couple other people have. Um, there's been a, several people have commented the same uh, channels to go watch. A lot of them were Dutch. Um, I already watched him. I watched a few of Alaska preppers videos. Um, he had some on. Uh, um, uh, what am I trying to say? I generators think. generators so Gosh, i almost said that and i should have because then i would have shown how much you and i are like in sync well i mean you don't know what i'm ever thinking but i can always tell you what she you're has thinking. never said anything more serious and honest than just that <laughs> i don't know what she's thinking that is the truth um so and we've been married 20 years next week so uh what else so oh somebody commented on a costco generator that already comes and it runs off of propane gas and something else butane maybe you know um, read that comment but um then it's at costco the ones i've been looking at the predator brand you have to either leave it a gasoline or convert it to a propane so i'm gonna look into that um i need to do some research and, and google that so but um guys we're running long uh so um oh my gosh and it's you talking this time not me it's both of us talking no i've i've not said much so we're running long because of you this no. time it's usually me yeah that's so true. <laughs> um, guys, uh, please, if you haven't already subscribed, thank you for all the new subscribers that yes. came on. We're so thankful for y'all. Um, uh, hit that thumbs up button. It helps our video get seen. And leave us a comment. Uh, give us some advice uh, to share your story. We love hearing. Uh, yeah. A lot of people share their stories. We yeah. love reading it, just uh, their journey. So, And, uh, yeah, we'll see yeah, you all again. The personal stories have been fun. Yeah. Some of them, like, some of them have talked about, like, it, certain situations remind them of, his army buddies and i mean like all just yeah. personal stories for me i feel more like yeah what's the word authentic just, yeah i feel yeah. authentic but i also feel like for us you guys are watching us and our family sometimes it's nice to see what your family oh, yeah. is doing yeah. sure. what's the word i feel more <laughs> oh gosh i don't know she doesn't know i really don't my brain hurts Guys, thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all again. Bye.